I'm Jan Paddock with Jan Paddock Quilts, and I do applique. Today, we're going to focus on the basic applique stitch I use to applique everything down. You need, first of all, I said, as I said before, a good crisp fabric that'll give you a good line. You'll need fabric, you'll need thread that matches your fabric piece that you're appliquing down, not the background piece, but the fabric you're appliquing down. And you'll need a good long needle, a Milner or straw. I use size nine and I use the Richard Hemming or John James large eyed needles so I can thread them. That's always helpful if you're gonna sew. And you need a good pair of uh, fine pointed sewing scissors. I think that's all, and, and a thimble, a thimble. I use this clover thimble because I like the tip, metal tip on the end and the way the rubber will then stick to my fingers even when it's cold, which it hasn't been around here lately. Okay. Cut yourself a length of thread. It doesn't really matter how long it is. You don't want it, I have arthritis in my shoulders, so you're gonna have to pull this. You don't wanna have to pull your shoulder too far. And now you need to thread your needle. You can get needle threaders, but so far, usually I have to take my bifocals off because they don't work that well. And thread the needle. And you want single, single thread, not double. Okay, and then you need to wrap it around your finger and then twist and pull to get your knot. And then if you're like me, you gotta put your glasses back on. Or really take them off. You bring, you finger press the fabric under on your stitching line that you've drawn when you did the freezer paper part. You bring the needle up through both your background and you just catch the edge of your applique. You put the needle in on an angle, not straight down, but on an angle right behind where you came out and you go about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And ladies, this is the most relaxing thing in the whole wide world. See, you don't want your thread too long because you don't want to have to be going like that. You just want to go like this. You also need, really, I need to applique. I need arms on my chair. This is what I, this is the chair I take to market with me all the time so I can sit and applique while I'm waiting in between talking to people or while talking to people and a footstool so that, so that my knees and my lap are up so I'm not having to bend over to stitch. It, it, it needs to be up to where I can reach it. And I mean, when I'm at the doctor's office, I do this and sometimes I'll pull a chair over and put my feet up. If I'm over at my son's and he doesn't have a footstool, I'll get a waste basket and turn it over so I can. Anything you can do to get your feet up so you have your lap closer to you so you don't burn, hurt your back. And you put the needle in at an angle. And you just sit and stitch. It's very, very simple and very relaxing. And what I really, really like about applique is once you've done that prep work, which we did in the freezer applique one, you don't have to think. I mean, there's no making points meet like you do if you're doing hand piecing. There's no making sure every, you've already made sure. You've got your stitching line, here it is. You're just sitting and sewing. And there is something about the repeat motion of the hands. I read this in Omni magazine years ago that clicks something in your brain that relaxes you. Working with your hands, I think it's kind of like gardening. And it may be why there's so many quilts about gardening. So now we're going to pretend, since this little tutorial is just about the stitch, 
we're going to pretend that we have, we're at the end of where we need to be. And you take a final stitch, and I usually take a double stitch at the end. I take my needle, and this time you do go straight down. Turn it around. Make a double stitch here again because you don't want this coming loose. So you take a double stitch. And then take your needle and just bring the end of the fabric down to here, or the end of the thread, excuse me. And now cut it off so that the thread end isn't where you actually ended it. So it's, if it gets knocked, it's not just going to come loose and come out. And now to recap, to the applique stitch, you need thread that matches your applique, not the background. You need a good needle, a good thread, and a comfortable place to sit. When you applique, make sure that your needle goes in at an angle instead of straight up and down. And that's about it. It's really simple, it's really easy, it's really relaxing. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from Jan Patty Quilts. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and have a good day.